everyone, this is Lucy from Boreal Forest Farm, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to tap birch trees. Okay, so here we have our birch tree. This is a good birch tree because it looks really healthy and it's at least 8 inches in diameter. So this would be a good choice for a birch tree to use. So now we need to make the hole that the sap is going to come out of and that we're going to put our spigot into. So we're going to go a couple feet off the ground and what we have to do is we have to make sure that the birch tree is really clean. So what we need to do is we're going to get the birch bark off in this area, all the little loose stuff. And we're going to take like the alcohol wipe. We're just going to wipe around the area that we're going to put our spout. Just like that. So it's nice and clean. You see it's, it was pretty dirty. Okay, so that should be good. Now we're going to take our drill and I have a drill bit on it. Mine's 5 16th inch and we're going to drill a hole at a slight angle um, upwards. So, and it's going to be about um, like one and a half inch to two inch like deep. Okay, so now we have our hole, and I also made a little mark here, just on the bit so I know how far to drill in. And we're just gonna go in and out a couple of times so it's all kind of cleared out. Okay, and there we go. Now we have our hole, and we might need to clean that out again, and then we'll be ready to put our spigot in. You can see our hole right here. We're just gonna wipe it out, kind of around it again, just so that all the sawdust is out. And then, we have our tap right here and it has a long tube and this is the tip and we're going to put it in like this. We're just going to gently tap it in. You want it to be pretty tight because you want to make sure that no like birch sap is like flowing out around the spout and that it's all inside going down through the tube. Okay, there we go. So now we're just gonna take our milk jug and we're gonna put the end of the spigot in the tube and we're gonna just put it under the tree. Okay, and there we go. And now it, we're gonna leave it for, we're gonna leave it for about an hour or like we can come check in an hour and we'll see how much sap has flown and then but it'll usually probably take like maybe a day or so for you to get a full gallon but some trees do flow faster than others so you might have one in six hours you might have one in 12 hours it just kind of depends on the tree so now i'm going to go tap a couple more trees and then we'll come back and we'll see how much sap we got Hi everybody, we're back and um, I just wanted to tell you guys, so we, I checked the um, the birch trees that we tapped like a day after and they hadn't, um, there was no birch water in the milk jugs and that's perfectly normal. It just means that um, there wasn't, it was just a little too early to tap them and it's kind of odd because that would be early enough, but it wasn't quite early enough. So, um, one way you can tell it's early enough is like, usually the birch sap starts to flow when it doesn't get um, below 32 degrees at night, so freezing. And it was just barely there. So, um, it took a little while, but it's running now. And um, it's like a sort of a week later. We got a little bit yesterday. But I'm going to show you how we collect it today. So, let's get into it. 
So right now we are using just like a pitcher and we're dumping um, the birch water into the pitcher um, like every day when it gets full. And it's easier to do this almost when there's half a milk jug because it's easier to carry the birch water back to the house. But eventually we are going to use, um, like get more milk jugs and we'll just do the same thing with the hole. And what we can just do is we can replace the milk jug and just put the hole in the new milk jug and carry this milk jug back and do stuff with, do stuff with the birch water. Okay. So here we go. We're going to take this out. Just going to take the hose out and I just untied this from the tree. And this is a lot easier if you unscrew the cap first. Um, so we'll unscrew the cap and then we'll just... Dump it into our pitcher. And then I'm going to go around to our other two trees. I have another pitcher here. We're just gonna empty it out and then we'll meet you back. Okay, everybody, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, we're gonna have a lot of birch um, water coming here in the next few days, hopefully. Hopefully they'll run for like 14 to 21 days. That's like the average. And um, if you want to see a video on um, how to use the birch water, like in special recipes, then please comment down below. And um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And yeah, so bye.